Andy, welcome to the virtual side. I'd like to um, get your view on the best features in Visual Studio 2008 and the .NET Compact Framework 3.5 for mobile developers. Um, what's in it for us? Uh, well, Visual Studio 2008, first of all, you can develop for Compact Framework 2 or all Compact Framework 3.5. There's a bunch of new tools, particularly around um, unit testing. We've got unit testing, which of course desktop devs have had uh, since the last release, but we've now got that in this version. Um, and we can automate emulators and things. So for testers, this is great because you can fire up emulators and you can configure them with different memory configurations and you can actually sort of do things like automatically run the battery down, this battery emulation. So you can automate a bunch of tests and run all these from, from desktop uh, applications. So that's exciting for those, uh, that scenario. So, so we're really formalizing the mobile development world because we've been a bit sort yeah. of foot, <laughs> foot loose and fancy free, haven't we? Yeah, it's, 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 it's coming out, it's away from this kind of, uh, this little cliquey hobbyist kind of thing. Yeah, and it's becoming really a fully fledged part of the enterprise development uh, uh, program. So, which is welcome, you know, we need to, obviously everybody needs to have good testing scenarios and good uh, regimes in that respect. So. Excellent. So, so, I mean, from the, the whole unit testing perspective, do we get code coverage and, and that sort of functionality? Now? Indeed, yeah. It's, it's the, full, uh, the, full, the full bunch of stuff. So, so the full desktop experience, yes. but on mobile. Excellent. On mobile, yes, that's Excellent. right, yeah. Cool. So that's the, yeah, the, on the testing side. Um, um, on, in the language, Compact Framework 3.5, uh, we've got Link, uh, a subset of what you've got on the desktop. So that's kind of unusual. We usually get stuff one release behind, you know, desktop devs get it and then we get it on the next, next release. But of course, all that stuff is built into the compilers and we use the same compilers. So we, yeah, we've got Link to, uh, to XML, Link to Objects, Link to Datasets, not Link to SQL. We don't have that or Link to Entities. But uh, yeah, personally, I love the Link to XML, for example, because um, well, I have to, like we always have to work with XML documents sooner or later and uh, XPath and XQuery and all that sort of stuff, it's just foreign to me. So, but uh, you can look at an XML document, you can see it's a collection of objects. So, you know, it's marvellous that we can now use natural language to, uh, to get the data out of it. So that, that saves a load of time, that's nice. So a real good performance uh, or productivity gain, I'd say. There's also some very interesting news about WCF mm, uh, in yeah. the Compact Framework 3.5. Yeah, well, we've got uh, a WCF implementation. So we've got two flavours of that. First, we've got a basic HTTP binding, which is kind of a bit like Azimix web service model today. Um, but then the interesting one is that they've implemented WCF channel using email as the transport. And uh, that's really kind of unusual. It sounds a bit wacky when you first think about it. But what they're doing is uh, th there's been a long-standing problem in mobile is that everything tends to have to, has to come from the client. So we can call back to the server. But because of the very dynamic nature of a phone device on a phone network, you know, it's never got a stable IP address. And you cannot, therefore, send it a message. You can't connect out to a device very easily and uh, send it a, an unsolicited message. But the email, push email infrastructure that they've uh, they built a couple of years ago that enables always uh, connected to email, that uh, gives you the ideal channel that you can actually use for data as well. So that's a really innovative thing and we, we're still kind of, to be honest, working out how best to use it. So, uh, uh, because there's obviously quality of service issues with email. There's no guaranteed delivery time or anything like that. So uh, we're still working out, but it's a in very interesting innovation. Yeah, I mean, from my own development experience, I mean, it's that whole store and forward piece of architecture that you needed to build every time on the client. And that WCF over email seems to deliver that for us. So. Yeah, totally, that's right. I mean, all our apps are about synchronized, getting data off the server, synchronize it up to the device, sending it back. It's all this two-way communication, and it's all about keeping these two guys aware of what the other sides are doing. So this is another tool in the armory that's quite interesting. Now there are also um, a variety of performance analysis tools um, to help mobile dev, which is a fantastic thing because we, we've uh, not had that many in the past. Can you tell us a bit about those? Yeah, um, the, we've had a thing called a remote performance monitor which came in halfway through the Visual Studio 2005 and was bundled in with um, SP1 of Compact Framework 2. And they've really enhanced that in this release. So you can now take snapshots of your, your, your garbage collector heap, you know, and look at how the memory is being allocated in there, what kind of objects are being allocated. So this is useful for looking at your, your memory usage over time. You know, like desktop developers can really afford to be less concerned about this than we can because you've got, you've got power to spare on a desktop uh, PC. But down on devices, we're always a bit closer to the resources and we always have to be a little bit more conscious of how we're using memory and always try and code smart and lean. So good tools that allow us to watch, um, watch what's going on in the runtime, like the remote performance monitor where you can watch counters going up in Perfmon on the desktop. 
uh, and to, this ability to take snapshots and look at the heap usage is really, really valuable to us, yeah. Excellent stuff. Oh, lots of uh, things to go and explore, Andy. Thank you very much for joining us on the virtual side. Pleasure.